All right, so we're back in Minecraft, and today I'm by myself. I am alone. If you don't remember last episode, we just finished up with starting Project E. We were able to speed run it, get that part done, and I did some work off camera, AFK mining some EMC, getting some more Project E stuff. Because Project E is honestly pretty simple once you start it. It's all basically it's just idle mining. That's all it really is. But the main thing that, that I want to get done this episode is not being weak. That's definitely the first thing. As you know, our enchantments are just for mana. Mana boost, mana regeneration. I have mana, but I have no way of using it yet. I have to be able to use it. I need spells for that to start working. So today we're going to start doing some Ars Magica, get into that, and try not to be as weak. We're also going to work with Project D to get some armor. Great Project E armor. That's what we're going to do. Now, I was AFK for a while on here. And I mean a solid while. If we take a look back here, mine out this whole area, this is where Ars Magica 2 is going to happen. We need an area for Ars Magica 2, and I've set it all up. Over here is where Project D's happened. It's all set up. If we look in here, we've got 2.4 million EMC. And if we look in here, We've got sextuple compressed cobblestone being made, and each one of these has a value of 531,000. And I have six of them, giving me 3 million sextuple compressed cobblestone. Boom. We now have 5 million EMC value from six sextuple compressed cobblestone. That is all well and good, but what we're going to be doing today is increasing this. I no longer want to have to wait, I want this to happen right now. Okay, this is too slow. How do we speed this up? With our best buddy, the Dark Matter Pedestal. How do we make this? It's two million for this. We can make two of these. We should be able to get two of these out. And then we also have to make a watch of flowing time. So do we have one? We can. We can make watches of flowing time, which is perfect. So we're going to make Dark Matter Pedestals. How do we do this? It's going to be four red matter and five blocks of dark matter. That's fine. One, two, three, four, and then we need dark matter. I go like this. Yeah, that, that's fine. We should be able to get a solid amount down. Like this, perfect. And there we go. We now you now have one dark matter pedestal. So to any of you guys who don't know what I'm making, this item is extremely useful in the game. I don't have enough to make another one. Uh, we'll make another one soon. So what this thing does is if I take a look at the Watcher Flowing Time, it tells me that on the pedestal, it gives me 18 bonus ticks for every... 18 bonus ticks to a nearby box for every tick. So it increases everything by 18. Multi it increases the speed of something by 18, which means it's increasing the speed of everything by 18, including these energy collectors. And what these energy collectors do is they turn sunlight into energy. See here, they turn into energy. The energy gets sucked into this antimatter relay, and then the antimatter relay goes into here, and it makes sex double compressed cobblestone. Now, now, keep in mind of this value. Keep in mind of how fast this thing is increasing. We should see a small but significant change once we add the watch of flowing time. I've now right, I've now activated it, and you can see it's going a little bit faster. Not too fast, but it's definitely noticeable that it is going faster. Okay, so what do we need for Ars Magica? Well, we have our book, but luckily for me, I've played this enough where I kind of know everything that I already need. We're going to have to, what do we have to get? All right, we need you, we need stone. Um. Do we not have regular stone? Okay, we only have cobblestone. So, we're going to have to get a few things. I can just search up Ars Magica directly. Uh, or, yeah, okay. For right now, we only need the inscription table, the obelisk. Wait, the, uh, sorry, the inscription table, the oculus. I don't think we're going to need the obelisk yet, because I'm going to be using projectile spells for now. 
and definitely a kale factor. A kale factor is how we make more of this Ventium dust. As you can see, Ventium dust doesn't have an EMC value, so we have to make it manually ourselves. But we, there's a couple items that we can make that do have an EMC value that will give us Ventium dust through the kale factor. So most importantly right now is the Oculus. And as you can see, it's uh, not the hardest thing in the world to make. The topaz is the hardest thing that we need. And right here um glass which we have uh coal which we also have everything is inside of here which reminds me i have discovered that in this server it is on hard mode on hard mode hard well hardcore mode everything inside of this is deleted upon your death this means that we have to wait for a very long time um if we die to get all our stuff back, we lose all our EMC value. Basically, it resets the re, it, re, it basically resets the EMC value. This becomes zero. We lose all our items. End of story. We can't die anymore. We cannot die, and we're weak. Our character is completely weak. We are we're we're, we're not strong at all at the moment. Not at all. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. We need two wood in total. Three slabs. We need. Feather, a torch. We already have the feather. And we already have the torch. And we need what else? What else? What else? What else? We need the spell parchment. This is fairly simple. And because these all these items have an EMC value. This also has an EMC value. Infinite inscription tables. We can take an inscription table on the go if we need to quickly inscribe a spell parchment. I don't know why we would need to though. There we go. We got our achievement unlocked in the book. Uh, I'm not going to look at this yet because I don't need to. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unlock the offense. I would go defense and then leap. Maybe regen. Oh, I forgot about re regen. The only problem is, is that getting the attack of spells allows you to level up faster. Um, going this route, going projectile, force, magic, you can make a spell that is a force and magic spell. This works for someone who isn't uh, using the effects that I have on. This is for anybody who's doing this mod. Go projectile, go force, and magic. This will give you a very high damaging spell right off the bat um, Well, for your level 1 access. And uh, doing this won't drain your magic too much, and it honestly will level you up quicker. A lot of people start with just... Um, just force damage or right after that or just magic combining them together is really good because neither because neither of these are not neither of these uh, items are, are high on uh mana and it's perfect um and you have to also watch out for your burnout so burnout's also a big thing but as you can see our burnout's pretty low in comparison to our mana which is good because our mana is high we have high mana regen the next thing we need to do is we need to deck out everything here so we need netherrack Netherrack, nether stuff, nether things. We have netherrack, we have nether brick. Go ahead and make uh, another brick. Ta-da! Now that we have nether brick, we can go ahead and make nether stairs. Nether brick stairs. That, and we have the two main items that we're going to need for our everything. We need diamonds, too. One, two, three, four, five blocks of diamonds should work for now. We also need glass. Uh, I think one should be fine because we're going to make magic glass. I think this is right. No, I'm dumb. Am I dumb? Yeah, I'm dumb. It's not glass. I'm just retarded. Don't listen to me. I'm dumb. Stone. I don't know if it's cobble or regular. We have infinite of each, so it doesn't matter. This is the this is the speediest speed run that I've ever done here. Boom, boom, boom. Set it all up. This is already a five block area. I made sure to. Uh, take it all out. There you go. I have everything else all set up too. I believe I have the lever taken care of. We're gonna go one, two, three. One, two, three. Put the diamond down in the center. One, two, three. Just like that. One, two, three, and so on and so forth. We'll know we did it right when the uh, crafting altar changes to the nether colors. Okay, that's about it, but we're not quite done yet. We still need a couple more things. We need a lever. I don't have a lever. That's right, I died. I lost a majority of my stuff. 
stick. And we're not done there because we need a uh, we need slabs and we need wood. Just like that. All right. Lever. Let's take buddy. There we go. We have the lectern. We have the lever. And let's just go ahead and put it back in here so I can make more if I need to. We're going to put the lectern on the left hand side because it's the best way. And then we're going to put this on the right hand side. And we should see it change color. And there we go. We now have everything set up. We're all done. Perfect. Here, boom. Boom, force damage, magic damage, and we'll just call this magic blast. And we're done. And we now have magic blast. As you can see, it'll tell us our affinities. It's good affinities. Obviously, we have 50%. We have, I don't know why it says 50% when there's three of them, but 50% on each, whatever. Okay. And it's only a five page material, which means that we've only got two pages worth of stuff, but it's actually more like one page because it kind of moves over. I've made this spell so many times. At this point, I know all about it. Go. Set that right there. I know we're going speedy, but like I said, we die. We lose everything. It's kind of over for us. Okay. There. Arrow. Snowball. We're probably looking at a red rune. Iron Sword, come on, Purple Rune, Lapis Lazuli, we're looking for that book. Damn it, I forgot the Stone Sword. I made it a million two times, but I always mess up something, don't I? And ta-da, we got a spell, we got a book, we're ready to rock and roll. Let's go ahead and take a look outside. Let's do some murderings, why not? Um, because I know that, actually, I have a reason to go outside. So we take a look here. The Kale Factor was another thing that I said I needed. Um, four stone, two lapis. That's good, but we're going to need the Obelisk to run it, which requires four. So I need a total of five. Five? Yeah, I need five. Five um, Ventium Dust in total. So not bad, not bad. Five Ventium Dust isn't that bad. So when we get to next part, we're powering it, we need six. So we need to have six Ventium Dust, but we also need the Desert Nova and the Sarah Blossom, which I don't have and which cannot be made. So we have to find that, which gives us a reason to go outside. We now have a weapon of choice, so it's, that's going to be nice. And we can quickly get a few levels, and you can see how quickly my mana will increase. This will help us a little bit. Um, we're still pretty useless at the moment. Our the amount of mana we have does not dictate the uh, the uh, damage that these things output. All it does is it just gives us more and it gives us a better regen so that we can fire more. But against someone with strength, an extreme amount of strength, and against someone with an extreme amount of resistance, um, we're going to have some problems. And am I lagging? Yeah, I'm hitting like 57 FPS instead of 60. Just this, the, the small amount really got me. Go ahead and kill King Slime. If I spam a bit, um, come on, come on. Yeah, give me that XP. Come on, I don't care what you say. Yes, give it to me, give it to me. Yes, die, 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 die. You get extra XP per kill. So that's, that's good, that's good. That'll help us out a lot. I think I'm only getting one, though, because you're little mini guys. No, that was 23, 25, okay, so, yes. Seven, I'm getting, I'm getting one to two per kill. So we're going to stick with the damage modifier. Should have two, perfect, which means that we can get fire and lightning damage, which means that lightning is going to be the next on our list. After lightning damage, you don't, I don't really care too much about the rest of this. Um, it's all really red. Area effect, beam, and damage. This is what we're going for. And then, of course, we're going for fury, which gives us a lot of stuff. The rest, after this, will go into defense, because we're going to be looking forward to getting the shield and zone spell. So zone, shield, reflect, going down this route. Because this will allow us to unlock mana shield, and this is how we basically become indestructible. Um, yeah, that's it. That's how we do it. I guess I can make a spell book um, to hold in and make my spells look better. It's three string, two paper, four leather. That's, I don't... Are you kidding me? 
Are you kidding me? I don't have string. Ah, oh, you're joking. I mean, I could probably easily make it right now. I could go up and make it. But I don't really want to do that. I'm too lazy. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and off camera, I'm going to move this back and I'm going to increase it so that it is at max capacity from what I want. And I'm going to make sure that it's not lagging. I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to get myself a spell book and probably make the lightning spell and then level up a bit. As you can see, I'm level four and I have 3,296 uh, mana, which is pretty good. The... The mana you get every time you level up probably isn't probably is about maybe 10 to 20 more mana. But we in four levels went up roughly a hundred. So four levels a hundred. Well, actually more like two hundred. Closer to two closer to two hundred, because it's 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 teetering on uh three thousand three hundred. So we'll say we'll say just under two hundred. Within four levels, when it would take us five to six levels to get to even a hundred more and it would take us 10 times 10 times longer so it's going to help us a little bit with leveling up like i said only in the early game not too much in the late game because you lose mana i mean not mana you lose experience points the more you do an attack and so later on it all becomes the same it'll just it'll just me be me spamming for one xp which really doesn't help so i'm gonna have to wait and then shoot wait and then shoot hopefully it, it'll be better so I'm going to go ahead and leave the video off here. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below and make sure to subscribe. We're increasing at a pretty steady rate, but I'm going to go ahead and ask to be increased even more steady, even faster. Get, get it up there. Get it up there. We're going to become strong. It's going to take a while, but we will not be weak anymore. Diamond armor is nothing. Okay. We must be strong. I will see you guys next time.